So I've got to say, this is probably one of my favorite stories of the year so far, because need I remind you that the entire LGBTQ plus groomer narrative came directly out of Florida as a result of Ron DeSantis signing the Don't Say Gay bill into law. That bill supposed that basically any and all exposure towards LGBTQ plus educators constituted grooming because if kids found out that gay people exist or that one of their, you know, um, friends had same sex parents. Well, that would be grooming them into the LGBTQ plus lifestyle. So this whole current discourse surrounding queer people being groomers and predators is because of Ron DeSantis. And I'm happy to report that that narrative is coming back to bite DeSantis very hard. So lately, Trump has been attacking DeSantis pretty regularly. He called DeSantis a rhino and a globalist the other day. But here's an attack that mm, is raising some serious questions about whether or not DeSantis himself is a groomer. Trump shared this photo on Truth Social of Ron DeSantis, which reads, here is Ron DeSantis grooming high school girls with alcohol as a teacher. And he adds, that's not Ron, is it? He would never do such a thing. Now, in a separate post about the same topic, Trump says, no way, in a quote tweet, uh, from someone who explains Ron DeSantis was having a drink party with his students when he was a high school teacher, having drinks with underage girls and cuddling with them certainly looks pretty gross and aphibophilia esque Now, believe it or not, this photograph, which is presumably of Ron DeSantis, was shared before. So back in October of 2021, the Midas Touch actually shared this photograph and they linked to an article written by Steph Basil of Hill Reporter, which alleges after college and before law school, Ron DeSantis spent a year teaching history at a high school in Georgia. According to a source with close knowledge of the matter, during that time, he was photographed partying with underaged students. Now, the article continues here. Darlington is a boarding and day school for grades pre-k through 12 in 2001 when desantis joined the staff of the high school he'd have been in his 20s with college and work in politics already under his proverbial belt his students would have been high school co-eds teenagers some of whom would have been living on campus according to our whistleblower he had a reputation among students for being a young hot teacher who girls loved and the girls in the photo are believed to have graduated in 2002 making them seniors at the time now compare that photograph of ron desantis allegedly partying with underage girls with this photograph from the yearbook at the school where he taught uh, you can see that he has the same haircut and it has not been confirmed that the individual in that photograph is Ron DeSantis, but obviously it looks just like him. Now, I have to emphasize that this allegation must be taken with a grain of salt. I, for one, have never heard of Hill Reporter, and it hasn't been confirmed where the girls in that photograph got the alcohol or whether or not they actually were underage, because as a high school senior, you could be 18 still. Very creepy if those were indeed high school seniors, even if they were of the legal age and Ron DeSantis was their teacher, because that creates a really bad power imbalance. And overall, it is creepy, but we don't have confirmation here. However, what we do know, according to a New York Times report, is that Ron DeSantis did indeed develop a reputation as a high school teacher. We're not really going to get into this. It's a lengthy piece. But basically, while he was a teacher, one student believes that he treated her worse specifically because she was black and even accused him of passive racism and claims that he taught Civil War history in a way that seemingly justified slavery. And that sounds very much like Ron DeSantis. It seems like he hasn't changed. Now, that obviously doesn't validate the groomer allegations, but it does speak to a long history of Ron DeSantis making unethical decisions, which kind of lends credence to the possibility that maybe that was him in that photo. Maybe those were underage girls, although we really don't know to be clear. But I think that because Trump shared that photograph, it is going to prompt other media outlets to try to corroborate this claim made by the whistleblower in the Hill Reporter piece. And it's bad, bad news for Ron DeSantis. And I've just got to say, I love this. I absolutely love that he's the one being accused as a groomer because, again, he's the one who created all of this groomer discourse around LGBTQ plus people. And it's coming back to bite him in the ass. But when you start throwing out allegations, well, you better make sure that those allegations aren't confessions, Ron DeSantis. Now, what makes this story additionally interesting is the fact that this isn't necessarily, strategically speaking, the best line of attack for Donald Trump, given that Ron DeSantis has endless ammunition against Trump being not just a groomer, 
but a full-on sexual assaulter. As Insider explains, at least 26 women accused President Donald Trump of sexual misconduct, including assault, since the 1970s. Trump has broadly dismissed the allegations, which include harassment, groping, and rape, as, quote, fabricated and politically motivated accounts pushed by the media and his political opponents. In 2016, he promised to sue all of his accusers. In some cases, Trump and his lawyers have suggested he couldn't have engaged in the alleged behavior with certain women because he wasn't physically attracted to them. Additionally, a New York judge ruled that a lawsuit by writer E. Jean Carroll, who's suing Trump over an alleged rape and subsequent defamation, can go forward because Trump's petition to dismiss that lawsuit has no merit, according to this judge in New York. Now, there's also him wishing Ghislaine Maxwell well, him partying with Jeffrey Epstein back in 1992. And as you can see from this video, they're both oogling women together, and it's just deeply unsettling and creepy, especially given the plethora of allegations against him, literally more than two dozen. And I'm not bringing up Trump's allegations to defend DeSantis, right? But I'm trying to demonstrate here that Trump, by opening up this can of worms, is also kind of subjecting himself to additional allegations. Uh, but I think that, or not necessarily allegations, because those are already out there, but additional scrutiny. Uh, but I think that Trump probably thinks, well, I already survived these allegations before, so I can survive them again. However, DeSantis has not been able to really weather this storm because that article by Hill Reporter didn't get much traction. So perhaps just even if they're able to debunk it, just the mere fact that additional news outlets are going to report about this allegation against DeSantis because Trump raised the salience of it and ap apply more scrutiny scrutiny to it, you know, that is going to be bad for DeSantis. And even if it does get debunked by media outlets, which it seems pretty credible, although we don't know yet, we need a real journalist to kind of vet these claims uh, or more journalists, I should say, because I'm not familiar with Steph Basil, who wrote that article, but we need more journalists, I think, to vet these claims, right? And see whether or not this is actually accurate, the timeline lines up. And if that is indeed Ron DeSantis, which it pretty much seems like it is him. Uh, but it doesn't really matter if somebody says, no, this is actually isn't Ron DeSantis because Trump is a liar, so he'll lie anyway. Now, it seems like that is Ron DeSantis, though. Either way, I love that this is getting really ugly. Ron DeSantis hasn't officially even thrown his hat into the ring for the GOP primary in 2024, and it's already getting really, really ugly. But I've just got to sit back and um, enjoy it because, again, Ron DeSantis essentially revived the gays are pedophiles trope in 2022 and for that the damage that that caused is irreparable to the lgbtq plus community because people believed his lies in fact a majority of democrats according to one poll believed that the don't say gay law was justified so all the damage that he's done to smear others i'm actually glad to see karma catch up with him in this instance where now he's being accused of being a groomer and it seems like the evidence that we have at this time is pretty cre credible do yourself a favor and click the join button on youtube to become a member because mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous many people are saying this join today folks you won't regret it